Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video I wanted to talk about the motion of our sun and our earth across the galaxy, and specifically talk about what it actually looks like, because there seems to be a lot of misconception about how our sun moves through the galaxy and what it all looks like. Let's discover all of this in Universe Sandbox, and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So right now we're watching our sun move across the galaxy relatively fast, and this is of course with the speed of 120,000 years per second, and it's moving across um, around the Sagittarius A star central black hole right there somewhere at a distance of about 23,000 light years. Now most people when they think about sun motion across the galaxy, this is kind of what they imagine, and then when it comes to thinking about motion of Earth, they usually think of something that looks like this. So we're just going to take sun and add it right here in the middle and we're going to zoom into it and you'll see that for the most part when it comes to thinking about our solar system and our earth propelling through uh through the universe through the universe through the our galaxy this is kind of what people imagine so there is sun in the middle there's earth mercury and venus all kind of in the same plane as the galactic plane and they all kind of move in this fashion around our sun so basically if we were to kind of just observe this for a few seconds you would see that essentially everything kind of moves in the same plane and this is what uh some people think other people especially due to this video that became viral a few years ago think that it's actually in the 90 degree fashion so basically earth and moon and mercury and venus all of them are inclined by about 90 degrees in other words this way and they kind of move in this um helical motion across the uh, galaxy basically creating these unusual shapes as they move across the galaxy but that's not actually true and as a matter of fact you can kind of prove this wrong by looking into the night sky and finding the actual milky way so the milky way which is of course the this side of the galaxy that we usually see is actually kind of inclined to the horizon and specifically the inclination here is about 60 ish degrees and this kind of creates two misconceptions and we're going to fix both of them right now let's go into the new simulation here and start by placing our sun um in relation to the central black hole in the correct orientation so we're going to assume that this right here is the so-called north galactic pole at a distance of about 23,000 light years is our beautiful sun so we're going to place it right here now Right now it's moving this way, counterclockwise. It has to move the other way. We're going to change the direction. We're going to take our sun and go into its uh, orbital parameters and basically flip it. So it's actually going to be moving the other way. So there you go. It's going to be moving clockwise now. So that's step number one. Step number two is we're going to place some of the major planets in the correct inclination as well. And we're going to do this manually just so that you can actually see how it's done. Starting, of course, with, um, with Mercury. And this is at a distance of about 0.4 astronomical units. And basically, we're going to change its inclination until it's about 60 degrees here. So this angle right here has to be about 60 degrees. And that means that we need to change the inclination here from zero degrees to approximately 120. So, okay, it's almost there. We just need to change the its right of ascension as well. So it's a little bit more well aligned with the rest of the um, galaxy. And this is, I think this is about 20-ish degrees. So there we go. So this is kind of what mercury would look like here so as you can see inclination here is about 120 degrees and this is about 30 ish okay so that's mercury let's add the rest of the planets including venus earth mars and so on all right so here's mercury and venus and i actually had to correct the inclination just a little bit because it wasn't really aligned per perfectly so 
right here it's about 61 degrees for Mercury and it's about 59.6 for Venus. And so basically this is how it looks like for two of these objects. All right next is the most important object and that's Earth and we're going to do just the same for Earth at a distance of one astronomical unit. We're going to place our beautiful planet change its inclination to about 61.9 degrees and now play around with its um, right of ascension until it basically looks kind of like the other objects. So this is about 220 degrees, I believe. And so there we go. There is actually, it's looking better and better now. This is already looking more realistic as it should. All right, I'm going to place the rest of the objects, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, uh, Neptune and Saturn, and then we'll take a look at what all of this looks like as it moves around the Milky Way galaxy. And so here are the eight major planets, and basically this is kind of what our solar system looks like in relation to Sagittarius A star and in relation to the rest of the galaxy. We're going to accelerate time just a little bit so you can see how they orbit around everything, and we might also disable the actual orbits and enable trails. And so this is what it looks like as Earth, Mars, Venus, uh, Mercury, and the gas and ice giants move across the night sky and how they actually orbit around our sun as they progress through the Milky Way. Now, this is actually a more realistic picture. Now, this might not be as helical as the other video made it out to be, and it might not be as exciting as some people want it to be, but this is actually the reality. So there's an angle of about 60 degrees. It's also moving uh, clockwise in comparison to the North Galactic Pole. And um, if you actually look at the, the North Ecliptic Pole of the Sun, it's also pointing maybe this way. And the proper motion of our sun around the uh, Sagittarius A star currently is at about 230 kilometers per second, whereas um, the Earth around the sun moves at a speed of about 30 kilometers per second. And Earth rotates at a speed of about 0.46 kilometers per second. So if you add up these speeds together, you'll get something around 260 kilometers per second around the Sagittarius A star. Uh, the distance here is about 23 to maybe 26,000 light years away. And so this is a pretty far away distance. And this is essentially what it all looks like if you kind of let it run through and let it orbit around each other. Now, I obviously didn't add the asteroid belt and I didn't add the um, Kuiper's belt. And this would actually add up to this picture and make it even more beautiful. So maybe this is something we'll do in one of the future videos. But for now, I think this is actually pretty good. I'm really happy with what I've created here. Let's accelerate time just a little bit more so you can actually see how all of these beautiful objects move around in symphony around the Milky Way. Anyway, hopefully you learned something from this video. Now you know what it actually looks like. And hopefully this cleared out some confusion about the motion of Earth around the Milky Way. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys watching these videos, and space out, and as always, bye bye.